Are you hoping to retire within the next 10 years? If so, stick around because in this video, I'll share a strategy that can put tens of thousands of dollars back into your pocket by exposing a hidden tax benefit you will likely qualify for at some point in retirement. And in fact, you may already do. How would you feel leaving $8,870 in tax benefit on the table? Most retirees are losing nearly nine grand in tax credits that they deserve every single year. And that's just at the federal level. There's more provincially. Finish this video because you may have already qualified for this in the past. And if that's the case, the CRA probably owes you thousands of dollars right now. Hey, by the way, I'm Hervin Pesef. We haven't met before. I'm a fee-for-service financial planner, and this channel is designed to help you retire with clarity and confidence so that you can enjoy your best retired life. We want you to rule retirement. If that resonates with you, I publish regular videos talking about all the strategies that I help implement for my clients. So consider subscribing so you never miss any of them and like the video if we gave you any value at all. The disability tax credit could be one of the most valuable credits that retirees miss. Now, this isn't just for you either. If you're taking care of an elderly parent, you need to pay extra attention. This is a long-standing benefit, but no one knows about it or simply misunderstands it because of poor naming. I truly believe that this is named incorrectly. So before I continue, I have to clarify something. The word disability or disabled is a misnomer. You don't need to be diagnosed with one specific disability, infirmity, or illness. When you ask people about disability, they think about wheelchairs and crutches, but that's not the case. The CRA uses markedly restricted as a qualifying definition, and this has a specific eligibility requirement. Even if you don't consider yourself disabled, you may still qualify for this, so be sure to really finish this video. Now, it is significant. Now, we'll address what it is, the benefits, how you can qualify, and what other benefits it potentially unlocks for you. And as well as planning strategies, you can explore to maximize the benefits available to you so that you can reduce your tax bill and have more money in your pocket to enjoy your retirement. If you qualify for this and we can look at retroactive qualification, you could potentially get thousands of dollars back in refunds from previous years. What is a tax credit first? Now, tax credits reduce your tax payable directly, unlike tax deductions that reduce your taxable income. Think of it as prepaid taxes. You multiply most tax credits by the lowest tax bracket provincially and federally. So what is the disability tax credit and how much is it worth? It's a non-refundable tax credit. This means it reduces your income taxes down to zero. Remember this information for later. It's designed to help alleviate the additional costs of disability, costs that otherwise won't be incurred if someone didn't have the disability or the physical limitation. It's also available for those that help a disabled child or a relative, like a mom or dad, or somebody close to you in your family. It's also a qualifying factor for other social assistance programs, like the Registered Disability Savings Plan. As of 2022, the federal disability tax credit is $8,870. In Alberta, the disability tax credit is $14,940. I'm using Alberta because our practice is in Calgary. We see this more often. Now, these credits are significant. I have other provincial disability tax credits broken down in the supporting article below if you wanna visit our site. For an Alberta resident, this is worth $2,824.50 in tax payments. So how does the disability tax credit affect retirement income planning? Retirement income planning focuses on strategic decumulation of assets. This includes managing investments, maximizing government benefits, and of course, minimizing taxes. So our aim is to give you the most sustainable income possible for the rest of your retirement. To do that, we use every credit available in your benefit, and you should do the same thing. So speak to your accountant, speak to your financial planner, and speak to your advisor so that you can put more dollars in your pocket. It's not just about knowing that these credits exist either. It's learning who should claim it, when it should be claimed, and how it could affect other strategies so that you can lower your overall tax bill in your retirement. Let's talk about strategies to take advantage of the disability tax credit. Namely, who should really claim it? 
Now, because the disability tax credit can only reduce your tax payable to zero, if you have little or no tax owing, you won't really have any further savings. At that point, you should consider transferring the credits to your spouse. So let's go through one strategic example. Let's meet Henry. He's 70 years old. He's qualified for the DTC. He and his wife, Jane, retired last year. However, Jane stumbled upon a business accidentally. You know, she's got a crafting hobby during the lockdowns. She started selling stuff on Etsy and last year she made a killing. This year, she's on track to make $40,000 working part-time in 2022. Henry's taxable income this year is nominal, so he should transfer the tax credits to Jane, reducing her tax payable this year. And this is done through a simple election once they file taxes. In fact, it's not just your spouse that you can use this with. The disability tax credit can be transferred to a parent, a child, or a grandchild if you're supporting them or they're supporting you. So if you qualify for the DTC and you live with a relative, think about transferring it to them if you already have a low tax bill or vice versa. Maybe you're watching this and you're taking care of your mom or dad. You can get this benefit, take advantage of it and use it for further help because you're providing support for them. How can you use the disability tax credit to generate refunds? A tax refund is simply an overpayment in taxes and you're getting your money back. This typically happens with the disability tax credit because Canadians who are qualified for this credit find out a little bit too late or they didn't feel comfortable applying for it at the time they became eligible. If your doctor or a qualified health practitioner can trace back your symptoms and they can say that you've been markedly restricted long before your application today, you can actually ask the CRA to reassess your taxes all the way back to 10 years from today. I can recall of three cases where the clients would have been eligible for the disability tax credit years before we met, but they didn't apply for it because they didn't want to be called disabled. And I get that, I, I still get that stigma. One even snapped at me saying that she's not an invalid and I really felt that and I understand. But this is a benefit that is available to you if you're qualified for it, take advantage of it. I simply want you, as somebody that's watching this video, to understand it and see if you're eligible, take advantage of it, use it because it's there to help you. I'll share one story because it's close to heart. I met a mom who has been providing clear outsized support for her son. It was a difficult conversation for me because of the stigma that's around developmental disabilities. These parents didn't want to have their child assessed. And I, I, I get that as a dad, I'm scared, but I'm lucky that I don't have to deal with that. So after multiple conversations, a referral to a specialist, they were able to determine that their boy had faced the same challenges for at least eight years. The credits were transferred to the dad going all the way back to 2012, and this was done in 2018, so seven, eight years. We transferred it to the dad because he's the one that had tax owing on those previous years. That was a substantial refund for that family. So who qualifies for the disability tax credit? How do you know if you're eligible? Before you can use the DTC, you and a qualified practitioner have to complete form 2201 and submit that to the CRA for approval. It's not automatic. But remember, approval is not based on one specific diagnosis or illness. They will review your file and see whether you're marketally restricted or equivalent to marketally restricted. The CRA will review the definition based on the following criteria. Number one, first of all, your impairment must be prolonged and severe enough to last at least 12 months. It must also be present at all times or substantially all the time, which they use a 90% benchmark for. Next, you have to have the conditions that meet the following criteria. One, you're blind or legally blind based on their definition. And two, you receive life-sustaining therapy. The third criteria is grouped all together, but essentially the impairment causes you, even with medical devices or tools, to have limitations in one or more of the following categories. Speaking, hearing, walking, eliminating, which is going to the washroom, feeding yourself, dressing yourself, and have issues with mental functions that are necessary for everyday life. Let me go into that in more detail. Speaking, you're unable to speak or take an inordinate amount of time to speak to somebody that you're familiar with and they can't understand you in a quiet setting. Hearing, 
you're unable to or take an inordinate amount of time to hear, to understand spoken conversation with someone that's familiar to you in a quiet setting. Third is walking. And I think this is probably one that's gonna surprise a lot of people. If they're unable to walk, or take an inordinate amount of time to walk. They use a 100 meter test. But think about it this way. What is an inordinate amount of time? If you're walking around with your family and they need to slow down and let you catch up and there's issues with mobility, it's very likely that that piece alone could help you qualify. Next is eliminating, so going to the bathroom. If you're unable to go to the washroom on your own or it takes you a substantial amount of time, Again, inordinate is their definition, you would qualify. Feeding, if you're unable to, or take an inordinate amount of time to feed yourself, then you may qualify. Dressing, or clothing yourself, if you're unable to, or take an inordinate amount of time to dress yourself, then you may be eligible. Mental functions, this is a little bit more difficult, but think about it this way. Mental functions that are necessary for everyday life. This could include adaptive functioning, which includes abilities that are related to self-care, uh, such as attending to personal hygiene and your health and safety, initiating and responding to social interactions, common and simple transactions, right? Like buying stuff, paying for bills, and of course, having issues with memory, which is the ability to remember basic personal information, such as the date today, birthday and address, or anything that's materially important to you. I know that again, goes back to, I don't wanna identify as that because I'm not disabled. Really, you have to look at this as if you're having to adjust your lifestyle to account for a lot of these things, then it might be time to consider applying for the DTC. That might come later in retirement. Or maybe, as I mentioned earlier, if you're helping an elderly parent right now, it might be time for you to review qualifying for this and using the credits to, to help you because you're providing care for them. So that's just one of the things that we would review in a retirement income plan. For more tax strategies and other information that you could use to retire with more clarity and confidence, I have another video talking about the age credit. You can see that right here. Or if you're unsure about retirement, we have a checklist video going through how to determine whether you're ready to retire or not. If you found value in this video, consider subscribing, like, and leave us a comment. It really does help. So thank you, see you in the next video.